The Nevers is about a bunch of outcasts with particular abilities that have kind of come out of nowhere. Detached are the group of people who were spored by this being. It came three years ago. Not one case of someone being touched before then. The touched mostly consists of people who would be without power in Victorian society. There's not a lot understood about the touched, so I think there's a lot of fear around it and a lot of ignorance. We heard about those girls. They're not right. Being touched is not a defective character. We've come to help with what's been troubling you. Would you like that? The orphanage is a kind of a refuge for the touched. Lavinia Bidlow and Amalia originally set it up. Lavinia's giving a safe haven for the touched where they won't be discriminated against. <laughs> With the orphanage, the world becomes around this house. The courtyard becomes a part of the storytelling. And so I think it sort of felt sheltering for them all. It's a place where they can understand their turns and feel safe. Turns are the word we use for powers. A turn gives its recipient the ability to do something that nobody else can do. Amalia's turn is a rippling. She has these flash forwards into the future that she has no context for. So they're not always useful. <sighs> right. Penelope can see electricity. That helps her invent mad contraptions. It's only a prototype. The workshop that led you into Penance's mad head a bit. All the crazy things that she has to make her this wonderful character that she is. Dr. Horatio Cousins heals wounds without any tools. Lucy breaks anything she touches. Annie's turn is fire, so she's able to harness it, but not in like a whimsy way. Mary has this voice that she emits, rallies everyone together and gives them a sense of hope. The Nevers is really unique, the way it blends history and science fiction and fantasy. The Victorian era was this incredibly important era, which everything was changing. The car had come along, women's lives were changing, and communication was starting to be instantaneous. What the hell is all this? We're installing a telephone, not a trapeze. The Victorian empire was at its height. It was all downhill, really, from the 1890s. So that's what makes Lord Masson this kind of villainous figure. He's out there trying to protect the British empire. The touched are rewriting the rules of reality. I want them under control. Amalia has been given the role of leader of the touched. She has aimed to bring them together because she knows that there is some kind of mission involved. All those girls we went after, they've just run away. They've been doing this for some time. One of Amalia's biggest problems is that she's not quite sure who her enemies are. She knows Malady, who is touched, is an enemy, but she doesn't know what Malady's aim is. The touched, their defiance is at a fever pitch. For a lot of the others, there are public faces to them that seem like they're not enemies, but that she has very good reason to suspect they are. The touched is this representation of a group that has unknown qualities, and we as a society have to cope with this new arrival. It results in the touched being extremely wary of their surroundings and never being entirely certain who to trust in any given point. You know what a better world could be like. It's a fantasy. The show has so much to say on the idea of compassion and how we connect to each other as human beings. The people who don't hold the power are having to fight for equality. 
And it just seems to be so in context of the world that we're in right now. 